And so as he knee slides, the, the tension builds up on this on this seat belt. Go. Away, and as I start to move towards him, that's when he jumps. Boom. And I can't beat him. Here, this guy's got the seat belt. All right. He's on my single. All right. So I go knee slide here. I, I try to square up, but he's he's got a nice little handle here on my hip. Okay. So the, the, the first thing here is I want to talk about is, is kind of the, the timing of this. All right. So I go, I go knee slide here, and I'm trying to square, and he's got that handle. Like he doesn't want to let go of, of my hip here. Right. So as I try to square up, he starts to come with me. That that's where I kind of take that that opposite pressure. His, his arm is kind of like a like a, a rubber band here. It's like a bungee band. As I as I kind of need to go trap my ankle. As I knee slide away, I feel this. Oh, all right, don't come with me here. I feel this pressure tighten on the arm. As I as my hip goes away, I can feel the tension on on this arm here, like a rubber band. It goes tight, 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 tight. It's tighter, and he's about to pull himself to me. Pull back in. Here, boom. See what happens? As I knee slide away. His arm is like a bungee band. I knee slide away, and he eventually ropes himself back in. Knee slide away, he comes to me. That's what it is. So what we're gonna do here, I wanna work on the timing of that. Because when he's when he gets greedy here on the seatbelt, that's what sets up my cartwheel. Right? So I go, I go knee slide away here, and it gets tight, and then all at once, that's when I go. Whoop, oh, stop, bounce him, and I go behind. It's what really makes it great. Come back, I got a seatbelt. Here, I'm on the I'm on the seat belt here. I'm I'm pinching here. I, like here's the goal is I'm trying to turn my knee to, to catch his ankle here, and he's trying to turn his knee to free his ankle. Right? So we're we're playing this battle here. If I turn my knee, then I'm I'm gonna start winning, right? Or I'm catching behind the knee here. Okay? If he turns his knee away, he's gonna start winning and get it away. Boom. And so as he knee slides, the, the tension builds up on this on this seat belt. Go away, and as I start to move towards him, that's when he jumps. Boom! And I can't beat it. I can't beat it. The timing of it is everything. So you're gonna go three knee slides. The first two I'm gonna catch up to. The first two I'm gonna catch up to. I'm trapped. He's gonna turn his knee, knee slide away. Boom! I trap him down. One. Go again. Knee slide away. Two. So on number three, as I come to him, he's in the cartwheel. Here. Now look. When we cartwheel. You've got to be on your outside foot. One more time. Turn back. Here, he's got to be, once he knee slides, he's got to step up with the outside leg. He can't cartwheel from his knee on the mat. This is, this is not going to be good. If his outside knee's on the mat, when he floats his inside hip over to cartwheel, his head is going to be naturally low. Right? If he tries to jump and his head's low here, then there's a better chance that I dump him. So you got to step up and get height. Is everybody with me here? That's a detail. I hope you're listening because that's a detail that a bunch of us are getting wrong. It's the difference in it working and not. It's the difference in you doing it and winning in the state finals, going on Instagram, viral, whatever. You make your own TikTok out of it, and your coach going, that was a dumb idea. Why would you do that? Right? All because your head being up or down based off this outside knee. He knee slides. We did it twice already. On the third one, his foot's planted. There it is. It gets everything higher. I can't keep up with it as he goes up. On the third one, you get it. Let's go. Knock him out. One, two. 